Hey everybody, my name is Flank, and I want to introduce you guys to Mythgard. Mythgard is a digital CCG, and I want to make sure that this beginner's guide has you all well equipped to begin your own Mythgard journey. In this guide, you'll learn about the basic rules, the board, the cards and card types, as well as how to uh, generate mana, spend that mana, and all the uh, keywords associated to the cards. So I wanna wish you luck and hopefully this guide has you well prepared to go ahead and explore the world of Mythgard. Your objective in Mythgard is to bring your opponent's life total to zero or less. Doing so will secure your victory, unlocking rewards, prizes, and other goodies on your journey. In order to lock down those wins, you'll need to pilot a cohesive deck against a plethora of strategies all vying for their own glory. The game board is where the action happens. This is where your minions and enchantments will reside, trading blows and doing battle, chipping away at each other's health totals. Your health total is located at the bottom left of the screen, while your opponent's health total is on the top right. The battlefield is split into seven lanes. These lanes will be populated by minions and enchantments and play an integral part of strategizing your path to victory. Your hand of accessible cards is located on the bottom of the screen, and your mana pool is located on the bar below your hand. To the left of the bar representing your crystal pool is your total mana bank, and it keeps track of how much total mana you have left to spend on the cards in your hand or the abilities on the board. To the right is your power, a unique ability you can use once per turn for a cost of 2 mana. Keeping control of the battlefield while carefully planning your cards and resources is a great skill to develop to be successful in Mythgard. With the game board understood, it is important to understand the weapons at your disposal, the cards you'll be playing. There are four types of cards you can play in Mythgard, each lending their abilities and powers to form a synergistic deck under your command. Minions, artifacts, spells, and enchantments. Each card has its total cost located at the top left, including any special gem requirements in order to play it. The rarity of the card is located on the top right, which directly affects how many of that card can be put in the deck. Bronze is common, with a limit of 4 copies in a deck. Silver is uncommon, at 3 per deck. Gold is rare, with a limit of 2. And the diamond color is mythic rarity, allowing only a single copy of that card per deck. Minions form the backbone of the gameplay. They deploy to the battlefield, attack, defend, and employ special abilities en route to winning the game. They are responsible for the lion's share of the damage dealt to your opponent. The attack value and health total are on the bottom left and the bottom right of the card respectively. The game text is featured below the card art, and any tribal affiliation is located at the bottom of the card. An enchantment is a special effect that is placed on a specific lane. It alters the way minions interact with one another, and their effects are permanent unless otherwise removed or stated as such. An artifact is a card that enhances an element of gameplay. Each artifact has a durability rating that diminishes upon you losing life points. When the durability is zero, the artifact is destroyed. Spells are cards that have temporary effects on the game. They are single use and are discarded to the boneyard upon use. A good array of spells are vital in supporting your minion army. Let's get you set up for your first game. You begin with 7 cards and 0 mana. In order to unlock mana to play with, you have to burn a card. That is, you are shuffling it back into your deck and gaining access to a mana of the gem color of the card that you burned. Careful planning of what mana you'll need to pay for your cards is crucial. When starting your first game, be sure to look at your starting hand. Playing on curve, that is, playing a card every turn that maximizes your mana available, is usually ideal to keeping up with or staying ahead of your opponent. Upon playing your first minion, it will not be able to attack or move right away. It has what is often referred to as summoning sickness, and can only attack on the next turn. It can, however, block if necessary. 
When a minion attacks, it can reach the three lanes directly in front of it. If a minion blocks it, you must attack and defeat the minion before being able to attack your opponent directly. An unblocked minion attack will result in a loss of life total equal to the damage dealt. As the game progresses, you'll unlock more mana, summon more minions, cast more spells, and inch closer to glorious victory or fiery defeat. Either way, you'll gain valuable experience and get better with each game played. Mythgard's gameplay features a myriad of keywords that empower or otherwise weaken the minions on the battlefield. These keywords add layers to how minions interact and otherwise affect the game state. Here are all the keywords that you need to know when going into battle on Mythgard. Alpha Strike A minion with Alpha Strike will deal its damage before the opposing minion will. If a minion dies before it can deal damage, then that minion's damage is nullified and never occurs. Should both minions have Alpha Strike, damage is resolved simultaneously as it normally would. Swift Having the Swift keyword grants your minion an additional action. The minion can move twice or move and attack in any order. Fragile If a minion has Fragile, it will incur additional damage equal to the Fragile number it is holding. Fragile 3 means that a minion takes 3 extra damage every time it takes any damage at all. Rush a minion with Rush is able to execute an action on the same turn that it is deployed to the battlefield. In short, it can attack the same turn it is played. Lurker If a minion has the Lurker keyword, it becomes more elusive to target in an attack. In order for a Lurker to be targeted, all other legal non-Lurker minions must be targeted by an attacker first. Breach when a minion with Breach successfully deals damage to a player's health total, it will activate the Breach ability, granting a bonus effect. Teleport A minion with the Teleport ability is able to use an action to move to any vacant lane on the board. Defender Minions who are defenders are unable to attack, however, they also act as the first lines of defense against opposing attacks. The opponent must first attack and defeat a defender before being able to attack other units. Overrun When dealing damage to an opposing minion, the Overrun keyword grants your minion the ability to assign any excess damage to the opposing player's health total. Suppress Suppressing a minion removes its game text and any additional modifications that is received. Furthermore, that minion will not be able to receive any future buffs. Awaken When a minion with the Awaken keyword is played, it will immediately activate the ability associated with it. The Awaken ability occurs when the minion hits the battlefield. Demise When a minion is destroyed, any Demise effects will then take place. It is an ability that occurs upon losing a minion from the battlefield. Regen a minion with the regen buff will recover health at the end of a turn equal to the regen number associated with it. If it has regen 2, it will heal for 2 health at turn's end. Immobile A minion who is immobile is stuck to whatever lane they are currently residing in, and they cannot use their own move ability to move themselves. Armor A minion bearing armor will reduce the amount of damage taken by their armor number. A minion with 2 armor will reduce each instance of damage by 2 when it's resolving. Blight Blight is an effect placed upon units that occurs at the beginning of each turn, giving minions affected by it minus x minus x where x is the blight number. Stealth A minion with stealth will appear as a mysterious apparition on the battlefield without any stats visible. It will remain as such until it attacks or is attacked by the opponent. It deals its damage as normal. Stunned. When a minion is stunned, it is unable to attack, move, or activate any of its abilities. Slayer. When a minion has Slayer, it will deal extra damage equal to the Slayer number specifically to minions it is in combat with. Agile. An Agile minion ignores attacking restrictions, allowing it to choose which lane it's going to assign its attack to. Life Tap. When a minion with life tap deals damage, you will receive a boost to your own health total equal to the amount of damage given. Focused 
If a minion is focused, it will deal additional damage equal to the focus number to minions that are directly opposite them on the lanes. Ephemeral. A card that has the ephemeral keyword is banished when it leaves play, put in the boneyard, or back into your deck. In other words, it is placed out of play and out of existence. Warded. A warded minion can only be damaged while in combat. Any non-combat damage will be ignored by a warded minion. Deadly. Certain minions feature the deadly keyword, which means that any damage dealt by this minion becomes fatal damage, destroying the opposing minion. Frenzy. A minion that has frenzy will be able to attack twice. Blast. A minion with blast will deal damage equal to the blast number to adjacent minions. This damage is considered non-combat damage. Piercing. Piercing is an attribute that allows a minion to ignore an opponent's armor modifiers when dealing damage. That is your beginner's guide to Mythgard, and hopefully it has you well equipped to comfortably begin playing the game. If you have any questions at all, you can go ahead and ask them here in the comment field on YouTube or join me on stream, twitch.tv slash watchflake, and I'd be happy to share my experience with you and answer any questions you have. Again, I ask you to be kind to one another, and you can always reach me on Twitch, Twitter, or wherever and be kind, and I will see you very soon. Thank you for watching and subscribing to this channel.